Now, I've had a huge history with Barbie. I love Barbie. Hello. So a lot of you guys on Instagram wanted to know what I do um, <laughs> in quarantine because I'm always doing something really random and interesting on my Instagram stories. So I figured I'd do a little live update and tell you guys what I've been doing in quarantine. It's been a very positive time for me. There were a couple of sad days but I managed to pick myself up. Mm. This is my favorite perfume as of recently. This is Wild Blue Bell by Jo Malone. Got a love hate relationship with Jo Malone. I used to work there. So we're gonna start off easy. So the first thing that I've been doing <laughs> is reading lots and lots of books. I won't be showing you guys all the books I've read because I'm actually planning to do a separate video just for that. I am trying to get to 100 books this year, but I don't think that's possible. So um, I'm gonna try my best to get through as many books as I can before the year ends. And I'll do a 2020 wrap up of all the books that I've read. I'm very excited for that. Recently, I've been reading lots of fantasy books, contemporary fiction, romance books, and also lots of self-improvement books. The fantasy series that I'm loving so far is The Water Fire series by Jennifer Donald. Um, I just love this series so much. I'm, I'm literally I'm hooked. It's so magical. Everything takes place underwater. It's about mermaids and friendship and bravery and sisterhood and just girl power. It's amazing. My self-love, self-care book that I recently read. Um, it's called A Self Course Guide but in Keto S. I rated that book five stars. It's really good. Really, really good. If you really want to know how to truly love yourself. Give that book a read, it's pretty good. The books that I'm currently reading are two books. The first one is book two in the Waterfire Saga. So this is called Rogue Wave. I'm like four pages in. Yeah, and I'm loving it so far. Just like my bookmark. Uh -huh. And I'm also reading an ebook called The New Law of Attraction. It teaches you how to prioritize and just manage your time really well to, you know, manifest and attract the things that you want in life. That's it's really good. Highly recommended. Second thing that I've been doing in quarantine is Lots and lots of self-reflection. Recently I was talking to my aunt on the phone. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys would have probably seen this. My aunt is a very high caliber woman and she basically gave me a whole lecture about how I could be so much better and you know, how I could improve and stuff like that. And she basically said I had lots of things that I have to improve on. She really gave me the extra push that I needed, I guess, to really, you know, level up my game. So I've always been very into taking care of my body and my well-being and just my learning and growing in general but just a couple months back I felt really stagnant I felt like I was plateauing so I wasn't improving I was just kind of going through life um, and whenever you start feeling that it means it's time to change and challenge yourself and upgrade so I started a new journal noting down all the things that I could improve on it's right here I'll show you guys later this was what I pictured myself having as sorry um, having as a 14 year old but now that I'm here 21 turning 22 and literally like three weeks um now that i'm here i just i just want more i have new goals now so yeah my aunt was also asking if i've got a boyfriend obviously i said no there was a bird <laughs> i said no <clears throat> because i'm working on myself and to be quite honest with you the man that i pictured myself with i'm not at the level where i can meet that sort of man in my life yet so i have just incredibly high standards for myself my aunt actually told me that you know in order to meet that sort of man um it's not just self-care and my career that i have to work on it's everything that you embody as a person your mannerisms your habits the way you speak so it got me thinking man i have I have a shit ton of bad habits. See, shit, that's one of them. So I'm always preaching about investing in yourself. That's usually focused on the financial and academic side of things. But I also realized that investing in yourself also refers to your appearance. Like the gym, yes, but also your hair, your skin, your nails, your body, your beauty, the way you carry yourself, your manners everything is important and all of a sudden the wall that i had it just went away and i just suddenly have all these things that i have to work on and I'm just super excited and super happy so this is my self-improvement journal i'm gonna call it my level up journal so in my journal it's kind of personal so i won't be showing you guys everything the first page i have i have 11 goals at the moment can you guys see stuff like improving my speech and there are a couple of things like gum reduction i have a gummy smile and i don't like that 
mm -mm. microblading. I also really want to get a nose job, but that's that's in the future. Investing in my appearance. That includes things like getting up really early in the morning, which I kind of already do. Always dressing well. I have completely changed up my home wardrobe. So I never dressed in just t-shirts and shorts at home anymore. That's, that's not a thing in my house. I've also recently started to dry brush. I've set up appointments for my skincare, facial appointments and spas and nails, salons and hair treatments every month. I also have a separate page for my next luxury lifestyle goals. I'm already living a sort of luxury life but I have new goals you know so they're all listed here and they're very very specific the property that I want they're all listed right there. I have a page dedicated to just scrutinizing myself because I think it's very important to know your faults and bad things about yourself if you want to improve so it might be a little bit harsh but it works. I've gone in and just really criticized every little thing, even things I'm not that bad. I criticize them because it can be improved, do you know what I mean? So if it can be improved then why not? So I'm actually gonna make this whole gaining good habits thing into a series as well, maybe. So I'm gonna film episode one sometime soon where I basically list out all of my bad habits and tell them to the world. So that'll be really fun. I started drinking from cups, proper cups and mugs, especially for my juices and my coconut juice. Enough. Normally I just drink it straight from the cotton like that. I don't do that anymore. So the last thing that I've been doing in quarantine is being in touch with myself. Meaning that I dig deep down into my heart and ask myself what is it I really really want. What is my goal in life besides living a luxurious, comfortable life, which I already do. Yeah, and it came down to two things. Other than my cats, um, it was Barbie and orphans. Yeah. Orphans. Barbie and orphans. Let's talk about Barbie first. Now, I've had a huge history with Barbie. I love Barbie. So I, I grew up with Barbie and not once in my life have I ever grown out of loving Barbie and who she is. A lot of my core values as a person and my moral values, it stems from old Barbie movies. And a lot of things that my mom taught me as a child, Barbie embodies those values as well. So if you guys don't already know, I am someone who is waiting until marriage to have sex. So I have nothing against people who, you know, fuck around. <laughs> One of my best friends is a hoe and I love her. She's beautiful. I love her. I love everything about her. So I don't judge, but I'm talking about myself right now. So sexism, not just sex to me. It might be to someone else but to me it's a level of intimacy that I only want to have with my husband, with my significant other and it's very important to me. It's not just a pleasure thing for me. To me it's like a unification of two souls, do you know what I mean? I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who thinks like this. That's something that I have decided to do for myself and I'm not gonna lie, there was a time when I was younger where I almost gave it away and it was my mum and Barbie who reminded me, you know, why I wanted to keep it for marriage in the first place so I can't thank them enough because I would have regretted it so bad if I if I gave it to him oh my god I would have killed myself so yeah I'm never having sex unless it's my husband so yeah, this quarantine just reignited my love for Barbie. Barbie has never been, you know, just for kids. I feel like adults can learn a lot from her as well, just as I did. I even got a personalized charm bracelet. I made this charm bracelet by myself, literally. This is a Barbie charm bracelet. I also have a limited edition, collector's edition of a vintage Barbie doll that I auctioned off of Amazon or eBay, I'm not too sure. It's Barbie dressed as Cinderella. This doll came out before I was born, so it's, it's really old, it's a really old doll. Um, if you guys want to know the reason why I'm keeping it for marriage, um, let me know in the comments below and I'll think about making a video about it. Now, orphans. Okay, so, if you guys don't already know, I have a really soft spot for orphans. I might not like having kids, but I love caring for orphans. I first met an orphan boy when I was 14 in Indonesia. I went to the local orphanage for volunteering work and this boy kept calling me mama. And I found out that he was actually abandoned by his mom when he was really young. And during my time there, he was he got really attached to me. So when it was time for me to leave, he just started crying and running after me and calling me mama and just yelling and yelling and yelling. It was really just 
heartbreaking to see that so ever since then my love for orphans just grew last year for Christmas I went to an orphanage nearby and there was this huge Christmas tree with little cards on them and I was like oh that's pretty so I took a closer look and I realized that all these little cards were the wishes of the children in the orphanage I took down all the cards and I went shopping it really touched me because the gifts that they asked for were so simple there was a little girl who wanted a beautiful slipper a boy that wanted a thermal bottle and there was this 18 year old boy that I thought you know was going to wish for a laptop or maybe an iPhone but he wished for only a pair of good slippers that he can use to go out in and I was just it really touched me. It just made me really happy to see them being happy. I'm very passionate with helping them because they are brilliant kids. If you spend time in the orphanage, you'd know. They are brilliant, they're kind, they're well-mannered, they're, they're grateful, they're just so beautiful. Some are even talented as well. So one of my biggest goals in life is actually build a little like place. A little playhouse for orphans to come and take comfort in. You know, a place where they can experience a better than normal childhood because I'm gonna give them that. It's gonna be beautiful, it's gonna look like a castle, and it's gonna be free for orphans. But yeah, that's gonna be way ahead into the future, maybe in my 30s and my 40s, but it's a goal, yeah. Sorry about that. Um, let's talk about some current life updates. My Princess Annika dress is almost completed. Ha! <laughs> Very pretty, very beautiful, sparkly, I love it, absolutely love it. I still have to add a couple of ribbons and she has a little embellishment, like a little star with a ribbon, so I'm gonna have to do that and I might add a little bit more embellishments to the bodice area. But uh, it's almost completed so I'm very excited, I can't wait to move on to my next Barbie project. Oh and also the new company building that I was talking about in one of the episodes in my Rex Bitches series. It's finally completed. Anyways, I will continue with the series once the lockdown is kind of eased up a little bit and I can, you know, freely go about and just giving you guys a look around. Some of you guys have also requested for a video on time management and also how to gain business connections. So I'm planning to film that very soon. Oh, and also I'm turning 22. My birthday's coming. I'm actually having my birthday dress custom made all the way from Kosovo. The dress is amazing. It's going to be a fully diamond dress. So yeah, if you want to see more, you can follow me on Instagram. I also do share bits and pieces of my business life. Although I'm never going to go into details for privacy reasons. You guys will get a little sneak peek now and then of my, you know, of what I do behind the scenes. So yeah, that is all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!